Hi everyone, welcome to On The Record, brought to you by Woolworths as we take a sneak peek inside this week's edition of the AFL Record, Australia's number one selling sports weekly. And joining me, back by popular demand, we've got the Bell of Box Hill, Nat Edwards. Nat, welcome. Thanks for having me back, Ash. Good to have you here. Now, of course, this week, our cover story, it's a great occasion. You'll be there, I'll be there. Sam Mitchell, 300 games for Hawthorne. Dad, he was a number 36 pick in the draft. Absolute steal back in 2001. Yeah, it was indeed. He tried away um, his best at, at Box Hill, obviously, for a couple of years. Couldn't get drafted. They said he had no speed, but he could find the pill. And that's why he's been such a success story at Hawthorne. He's been quite incredible, hasn't he? Four premierships. Um, and to think that he may not have even been drafted, it's, it's a great achievement. We, we spoke to some of the people behind his drafting. He was slow and he was pudgy, but he kept getting the ball. David Park and, and Donald McDonald in particular went to bat for him. And the rest, as I say, is history. Is there anybody in the, foot, in the AFL with a better footy break? Probably not, and probably there isn't anyone who kicks better off both sides either. I mean, he just really is magnificent. He gets those sharp little handballs out of the packs, doesn't he? The extractor, they call him. So he's had a terrific career to date, 300 games. He should be very, very proud of that achievement. I reckon the best game I've ever seen him play was the 2013 preliminary final win over Geelong. We remember that because the Kennett curse was broken that night. But he was magnificent, in particular in that last quarter, himself and Sean Burgoyne standing up and hauling the Hawks over the line. Yeah, he was fantastic that day. He's been an outstanding footballer, and we, of course, we paid tribute to him this week in the magazine. Also, as a feature story this week, we're having a look at the run home. For the top 13 teams have still got some sort of mathematical chance mm. of playing finals, I guess. What are you finding more interesting, the, the race for the... Uh, within the top eight for the positions or the, the battle to get in in the first place? I reckon it's the top four that's really interesting to me because I think that's just going to change. I did the ladder predictor on afl.com.au earlier and I've got Hawks, Adelaide, GWS and the Swans there finishing in the top four. The doggies just dropping out, but I reckon that's really interesting to see what the makeup of the top four is going to be. The North Melbourne Port game was important last week because mm. now it gives Port a chance to win. Do you think North are going to hang on? I think they will just hang on. We've obviously got St Kilda as well, who's in the mix to potentially pop into the eight. But I think Port's the better chance. But I do think North Melbourne will hang on despite a really tough run. I think they play in their last four games. Hawthorne, Western Bulldogs, GWS and Sydney. So they're going to struggle, but I think they might just hang in there. They've got to win one of the next two North, otherwise they are in trouble. Turning now to match centre and, of course, the uh, big game Sunday. I don't know if it's a big game, but it's an important game Sunday afternoon. Eddie Had Stadium, Essendon v Brisbane Lion. To the loser goes the spoon. What does Justin Lepish need to do to keep his job? Unfortunately, Ash, and I don't really like to say this, but to be honest, I don't think he can keep his job. I think the Lions lose on Sunday to Essendon at Etihad Stadium. I think the Bombers are going to get the job done. But unfortunately, I sort of think that Justin Lepish's papers have already been signed and he'll be out the door. Yeah, I agree with you. All right, turning now to the back half, and we've got a story. Ben Collins done a really good piece. Footy lists are getting older. We're now the mm. oldest average playing list since for about 70 years. I'm surprised to read that. Yeah, 24, and there's more 30-plus players than there's been for a very long time. Why do you think this is? Why, why are players playing on? Why would you give up a good thing, I guess? Uh, and, and look, probably statistically you'd say with the game and the way it's played, it's so quick these days and less rotations that it probably goes against that. But they get paid so well and clubs are really good in managing their older players these days in terms of resting them. Um, so I think it is, you know, increasing the longevity of their careers. So it's, it's great. We're also having a look in this week's record uh, in, in the back half at the career of Callum Ward. He's the first Giants player to play 100 games. He's been a pretty good pickup for them, hasn't he? He has indeed, and what a great achievement for him. Obviously criticised when he left the Dogs, but he's a tough player, gets in and under, and he's been a magnificent pickup for the Giants. Thanks, Matt. And now to my tips for round 18. Pick seven last week, and I think on Friday night, North will finally snap that five-match losing streak with a narrow win over Collingwood at Etihad Stadium. I like Adelaide to beat Geelong in the big game Saturday night at Simmons Stadium by about a couple of goals and GWS to win a very narrow, tight game against a frenzied Port Adelaide and their crowd at Adelaide Oval on Sunday. And now let's have a look at this week's nominee for the Woolworths Mark of the Year competition. To the pocket. Brown! That's a huge one. That is a monster grab. Oh, Superman style. <laughs> so, I mean, Lewis was just terrific there on Sinclair. Kicks to full four. Oh, 
Well, he nearly took mark of the year in Adelaide last week, didn't he? Vicky tapped it down, Acres. Just a little clumsy in the end, and a courageous mark from Viney. Expect nothing less. I'll be voting for the Hawthorne magician Surioli, and you can have your say by visiting markovia.afl.com.au. So that's it for this week's edition of On the Record. Before we go, we're giving you, the punters, a chance to design our Round 23 cover. If you've got a bit of an artistic bent and you love your footy, pick up a copy of the mag this week or send us a note at aflrecord at afl.com.au. Of course, if you go to the game, pick up your copy of the mag, $5, your cover is Sam Mitchell. Look for the kids in the green jackets and the green coats, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.